Welcome to Yoga with Tracy. I'm Tracy. This is a short bedtime yoga sequence that I've put together that is really great for just before bed. If you're looking to calm the mind, relax the body, please join me here on the mat and allow yourself to just unwind. If you're new to my channel, there is another sequence that I've put together that is called Yoga for Better Sleep. This is great to do in the evening and combined with this particular sequence, hopefully you should have a really great, deep, restful sleep. So come into a very comfortable seated position, any position of your choice. We're gonna start with the arms all the way up, breathing in and out. So we're connecting breath with movement, being very conscious of allowing the breath to relax us, breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. And as you breathe, I want you to breathe in, one, two, exhaling, two, one. Breathing in, one, two, exhaling, two, one. Focusing on that breath, inhaling, one, two, exhaling, two, one, last one, inhaling, one, two, exhaling, two, one. Take the arms all the way up and let's gently sway over to the right side. Come on back to center, inhaling and exhaling. Breathing in and out. <sighs> one more, inhale, Exhale, inhale, lift and release. Other side, up and sway. Soft shoulders, focusing on the breath, in and out. See if you can breathe in and out through the nose. Breathing in and out. Last breath, in and out. Inhale, lift and release. We're going to roll the shoulders out for three, two, and one. Well done. Let's take our hands onto the knees or your lap. Open up the chest for a seated cow pose, lifting up the heart and exhaling, rounding the back. Inhaling, opening up. Exhaling, rounding the back. Again, breathing in, and exhaling, rounding the back. Well done. Let's start at the top of our shoulder and just gently tap down and on the inside of our body. Okay, we're gonna come across, we're gonna tap on the outside and on the inside, just once. Now I want you to gentle pressure across on the yang and the yin. So what we're doing now is we're soothing the body rather than stimulating it. We're just, the intention is to soothe the body and relax it. Okay, so we're gonna continue with our breathing and then release. Now, rolling out the wrists. One way and the other way. So depending on your day, you might have worked really hard working and typing or doing whatever you had to do during the day and the wrists are very neglected. So as we rotate the wrists both ways, interlace the fingers, we're gonna to start to focus on the wrist crease on the inside of our wrist. So right here, where the pinky finger comes right on down to that wrist crease, I want you to start gently rubbing right into this space soothing into this space. This is a nice little acupressure point. It's heart seven. The heart, according to Chinese medicine, is connected to our Shen, and our Shen is our spirit and our mind. If we can soothe our Shen and our mind right before bed, this could help us to enjoy a nice deep sleep. So we're gonna just gently rub here. And I always like to do the whole thing at the end because Sometimes I feel like this part of my wrist, this part of my wrist gets jealous of this part, even though this is the acupressure point. So I'm just gonna go back and forth. 
And then I'm going to put gentle pressure into my palm because there's some other really great points right here. So I'm going into my palm and then I'm going to take my fingers and just gently rub each one of my fingers all the way from the wrist crease all the way up to the fingertips. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side, right to the baby finger and then gentle pressure here on the wrist crease, soothing our mind, relaxing our souls. Okay, so gently pressure here, go both ways, just, just why not, feel so good. And then gentle pressure on the inside of that palm and all the way out from the base, all the way out to the tip of the finger. Well done. Feels good, hey? We, we probably ask yourself, why don't we massage ourselves more often? Feels so good, loving ourselves here. Okay, let's shake out those fingertips. Let's take the arms up. <sighs> Exhale. So this is, now that we've worked out those little fingers, I want you to take the thumbs to your temples and on your index fingers, put them into a nice little curved position with the thumbs right at your temples. Just gently from the inner corners of your eyes, the inner canthus, I want you to just gently lift up and down. Inhaling circular motion up and around. And as you do this, make sure the shoulders are gently relaxed. The face has no stress and you're breathing in one, two, exhaling, two, one. So just continue, gently circular motion, softening the brow, relaxing the eyes and the forehead. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> well done, I want you to release. Ooh. Rub your hands together. Nice, warm, loving energy. Send it right to the palms of your hands. Deep breath in here, and then exhale with a gentle, warm pressure. Let's place it over our eyes. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. And then as you exhale, melt those hands as you're caressing your face, gentle gently relaxing for a wonderful sleep. Ah, perfect. Now, we don't want to neglect the legs. So we're going to take the legs out in front of us and just start to rub the sides of your legs. So the yang side of the body and the inside of the body, the yin, okay? Gently rub on the out and on the in. And let's do this with gentle pressure out and in with the breath out and in out and with the intention of just soothing the body allowing the cell to relax before we go to bed out and in with the breath great now looking at the the your foot right beside the ankle, right beside your Achilles tendon, and we want you to gently rub on the side of this part of the body. So gentle pressure here. This is a point that's called kidney three. And this point is a really great point for just nourishing the yin and yang of the kidneys. Mostly the yin, which is all, which is also the time of day that we are going to bed, the yin part. And now, if you've ever seen any of my other sequences, you know I like that bottom of the foot. Right here at the bottom of the foot, the base of your ball of the foot, right here in the center, I want you to just put gentle pressure and rub right there, right there. So on both feet, I'm gonna press gently into this kidney point. This is kidney one. And kidneys are, according to Chinese medicine, the foundation of our body, the yin and the yang. And it is at the sole of our feet, so which is allows us to feel grounded and supported by Mother Earth. So when we bring all of the energy down here, 
We're just sending all of that chatter in our head <sighs> right on down. So gently press into that point on your foot and breathe in and out. Great. Let's bring our knees together and come onto your backs. Oh, this is the best part. Come onto your backs gently. Let's bring the right knee into the chest. Nice big hug. And let's gently take that left hand onto the outside of that right thigh and allow yourself to twist. And open up the other arm if it feels comfortable for you, making sure that the hand is lower than your shoulder. No shoulder tension here, just a gentle twist. Studies show that this is a wonderful pose to allow the body to settle into that parasympathetic nervous system where you rest and digest. So you're tapping into this space. Now breathe with me, inhaling one, two, exhaling two, one. One more time, inhaling one, two, exhaling. Two, one. Let's come on back to center and release. Let's do the other side. So left knee into the chest, big squeeze, hugging and loving yourself for a wonderful sleep. Lowering that left leg down to the right side and gently allowing the other arm to come over to the side, breathing and relaxing into that space of quiet and peaceful Relaxing space. Ah, inhaling one, two, exhaling two, one. Inhaling one, two, exhaling two, one. Come on back to center. Bring both knees into the chest for a big hug and rock from side to side. Anybody who's been into a yoga class with me knows that anytime I ask you to hug yourself, say something wonderful to yourself. It's a really nice positive way to end your day and have a nice positive affirmation before you retire for sleep. And it can be something as simple as, I'm a good person. So let's take a breath here. I'm a good person. <sighs> let's lower our legs for Shavasana. So as you relax into this position, your feet should be relaxed out apart from each other, the arms slightly away from each other, your face is relaxed. And in this posture, I want you to now breathe in, one, two, and now this time, exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, one, two, and exhaling, lengthening that breath, four, three, two, one. Continue this breath and with each breath out, allow yourself to relax and settle into a nice, deep, comfortable, and wonderful sleep. Namaste.